What's happening, people? Hope you had a nice weekend. Time to get back into the grind. Bitcoin is on the move. The market is looking good. The halving is coming up, so we have to keep pushing hard. And today we have the Avell testnet. There is an NFT that we can claim so that we are eligible for the airdrop. There's a little bit to get through with this one, but I'm going to take you through it step by step. It is very time sensitive. This has to be done by tomorrow to be able to claim this NFT. Avell has big potential. It raised 27 million in its funding rounds, but let's get right into this. All right, so first, what you're going to need to do is download the sub wallet, download your wallet, set it up, and then we're going to go to the Avell faucet and you are going to input your address. The address you need is not the EVM one. So if you go to your sub wallet, okay, and then at the top, click down on all accounts. And it's this uh, wallet address that you need, the one that begins with 5C. So copy your address, input it, and then you will get your testnet tokens. Okay, so this is the campaign that Avell have launched. It's called um, Avell Lite Client Liftoff. And there's some challenges that, challenges that we need to complete to be able to claim this NFT. So they're all straightforward apart from one. Um, the light client lift off challenge. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's not too complicated. So depending on what device you're using, Mac or Windows, you need to download this folder here. So just download the one that is um, relevant to you. For me, it was a Vel Light Windows. So download it. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to right click on it and then extract all. And then once you've extracted it, you're going to go into the folder and then you're going to double click on a Vel up. So double click that and then a window will pop up. So this window will pop up here and it is um, basically running a node and you need to get your public key. So um, at the top somewhere, let me quickly try and find it. Here we go. So public key, you would copy it, copy your public key and you're going to go back to, to the light client page. And then all you need to do is paste in your public key and you would have completed that task. So it is pretty simple. That is on Windows. I assume it will be the same for doing it on um, Apple, a Mac. And I think you can do this from a mobile as well. If you do have any problems, they do have the document that takes you through it. Yeah, so this is the page here, the document that does take you through it, run a Vel Light Client, and it has it for if you're on um, Mac, or Linux, or if you're doing it from Windows. So if you do get stuck, you can come to this document. But if you follow the steps that I just showed you, it should be fine. It should work, no problem. And then you would have completed these tasks. As I said, the other ones are straightforward follows, join the Discord, the Telegram. And then once you've done them all, got your 450 points, you can then claim your NFT. So to claim, um, to claim the NFT, I had to, it wasn't working, first of all, when I was trying to do it. I kept saying um, bad signature. So what I did is I went into the, to the connection. So you go to manage networks, and then you would type in Goldberg to get the Avell um, network, testnet network. And you click down on this and switch it to RPC testnet. So for me, that worked, and then I was able to claim the NFT. It wasn't working when I was on the Goldberg one, switched it to that, and it worked. Um, so if it doesn't work when you're trying to do it on this top one here, then just switch it to the bottom, and it should work, no problem. Okay, so once you've done that, there's some more things that we can do actually on the test there. And we're going to cover those just to make sure we've covered every single um every single angle. So this is the test net here and there's a few different types of transactions that we can do. So let's go through these one by one. When I first came to this, it wasn't loading up. So what I did is I came onto here and I switched it. This switch button here, I switched it from it was on the Goldberg and then I switched it to a Vel test net and then it loaded up. So if you have the same issue, open this up, switch it and then it should load up nicely for you. The thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a on-chain ID. So what you need to do is if you go to developer, you go to chain state, you go to constants, then you click down on here, you go to um, identity, you make sure that this is on the basic deposit you want to eight, 
Once you've done that, you're going to go back to accounts. Your account should be here. And you would have connected up your wallet when you first came on here. And then you're going to click on the three dots and you're going to go to set on chain identity. And then I just um, I left it as account one and then I put my discord username in. And that's all I did. I left all the others clear. You can fill those out if you want. And then hit set identity and then you will confirm the transaction within your wallet. OK, then we're going to do a transfer. So if you go to accounts or go to transfer. And then you're going to transfer an amount. It goes to your own wallet, but he's going to transfer a small amount. Then we're going to go to staking. So network, go to the staking tab and then stake with some of the validators. So to stake, you just click down on it here and then these pop up and then you can choose one and then you would go to send and then your wallet will pop up and you send an amount to that validator. And then we have the governance tab so you can go to treasury. Okay, so once it loads up, sometimes it takes a while, then you're gonna choose whatever one you want. And again, click on this and then we could send an amount for the proposal so just send a small amount do it do it on a couple of those and then you go to bounties on the governance and you do the same thing choose one of them and then send some of the tokens over okay and then there's this um avail app id generator it's not working for me um i don't know why so i'll show you the steps to do it all you need to do is detect extensions and then choose your account wallet and then choose it again and then input a um, an ID name. And for some reason you can't see it, but if you highlight it, it's there. And then it, you would click send transaction, obviously, but for me, it's just doing nothing. So um, yeah, if any of you figure this out, leave it in the comments. Maybe I need to clear my cash. Um, but yeah, if you figure this out, let me know in the comments so that I can get this done as well. And if I figure it out before I post it, then I will leave it in the description or leave it in the comments what you need to do. And then you could add a multi-sig as well. You would need a, another um, sub-wallet address. So you could create another wallet and use that. Um, so before, that, before you go to multi-sig, actually, you would go to address book and then you would add that other wallet. And then you would go back to the, the home page go to multi-sig, they would both be here. You would add them both over and then you could set this up. And they have a um, Galaxy campaign open. So there's a quiz in here. I will give you the answers for the quiz. The answers to the quiz are for question 1B, question 2 is B, question 3 is uh, A, question 4 is B, B, and then question five is A. All right, but that wraps this one up, peeps. So um, yeah, make sure you get this done right away. You have until tomorrow to be able to claim this NFT, um, which looks like that. And this should make us eligible for the upcoming airdrop reward rewards. See all of those other steps that I showed you just in case some of those qualify us for a bigger drop. L L1, big potential, makes it easy for people to be able to deploy nodes, raised 27 million. So don't fade this one. If you need any help, leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha, turn those notifications on and I will see you in the next one.